want to thank everyone for being here in, in recognition for the dedication of Greg Hornway today. We have a number of guests here today. I appreciate all the council members, the city staff who have worked with Greg for so many years, and council members who have worked with Greg for so many years. We're very fortunate that uh, uh, we had Greg to, to be able to kick around for 25 years, and we can't do it anymore. So, Greg, sorry, uh, sorry about that. But anyway, welcome to all the guests. And Greg, a great 25 years, and I know that we've missed you over the last couple months. And I know that whether you've missed us or not, uh, we, we have missed you. So uh, at this stage, um, I want to recognize uh, Mayor Sally Beals. Sally's going to come up and just say a couple things, because Sally was very instrumental in the development, along with Shirley Hines. Uh, Paul's here today. And Sally, I know you've known Greg for a long time and think a great deal of him. So if you'd say a couple kind words. and. We won't go over everything uh, that we've done in the past, but wanted to say a couple things today. Uh, Greg stepped in and the first thing he discovered was that we didn't have enough water. And so he had to take on the guy that we had hired uh, to design this course to make sure that we dug a few more ponds and deepened the ones that we were already digging. So that was a great accomplishment. And I don't think we've bought water since the place has been open, except maybe once. Um, he was great, and uh, we got the land into the city. We knew we had to do that. And so there were a lot of challenges before we actually got this place built. Um, the stone, it matches uh, downtown stone. It came from Wisconsin, but it still matches our downtown stone. That's, uh, that was where we had to go to get it. And uh, so there were just lots of details that were worked out. And uh, I don't think this place would be the place without, without Greg and his, his attention to detail and uh, really uh, putting forth a, uh, a quality place. Um, for a city to run a golf course, uh, that was kind of unusual in those days, but we decided that's what we wanted to do and he made it happen. So this is uh, very, very appropriate that we have this uh, this road named, named for him. So thank you, Brooks. Thank you, Sally. I really appreciate all the staff coming out here today. Um, I know it's after the day, day work day's over, it's, but it's Monday night, so you'd be here anyway. So it wouldn't make any difference. So you're going to get out a little bit early, but thank you all for being here. And Dr. Gresham, I uh, appreciate you being here today. And I know that uh, Mark Kingsey would like to be here today, but he's traveling out west. Uh, but he sends his greetings, Greg, and uh, appreciates all that you've done. And the council members that we have today, uh, John Paltcher's here, Joanne Rao, Bill Sayre, Belinda Kenley, John Beals, Mark Engert. I think that's everybody we've got here today. And then our new city manager, Wayne Davis, is in the back. So thank you all for being here. Greg, a, a lot has been said uh, this past couple months about you and your success as city manager for the city of Centerville, and, and I won't go all over all of them today to give you a reprieve from that, but and we all joke about doing things Greg Horn's way, uh, but if you look east, slightly northeast, uh, you know that it has worked. Uh, the clubhouse, the golf course, the Yankee Trace development are a tribute to Greg's determined and dedicated effort to make this the finest development in this area. And Greg, you did it your way with a little bit of help and a little bit of vision from Shirley Hines, Sally Beals, council members. Um, you've succeeded in doing it. And uh, it's a tribute to you that Yankee Trace has developed in the way it has developed. And Greg, as the years pass, thousands will pass by this street sign. They will not know Greg Horn personally, like we all do or they even know what exactly you did. Uh, but they will know that someone named Greg Horn was so important to this development that they named the only way into Yankee Trace and the only way out of Yankee Trace after you. And most important, Greg, your children, your grandchildren, and a while away from now, your great-grandchildren will know you and know that this is representative of the quality you brought to the city of Centerville and how much all of us and the city staff and the community respected the work that you've done. So Greg, congratulations. I'd ask you to come up and say a couple words if you want to, but 
Greg, we are so proud of all you've done, and we know that you are proud of this accomplishment too, and this is a fitting tribute to you. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mayor. That's, um, I have to say this, first of all, I guess it's a little ironic to be standing here close to the road. I was, I was thinking today, it was almost 25 years ago to this week, uh, we were standing out here by the road about a quarter mile up at the corner of Silver Lake Drive, and I know there's a few here that uh, remember that. And that was the day that the Ohio Supreme Court ruled unanimously in Centerville's favor on the annexation. So in many ways, we owe the Ohio Supreme Court uh, a tribute today because this would not have been possible without them. But uh, we toasted just a quarter mile up almost exactly 25 years ago with council uh, members that are not here today, like J.B. Stone and, and uh, Jim Singer and Mayor Shirley Heinz. Uh, Sally Beals uh, is with us and Brooks Compton and Mark Kingseed are all still with us. But uh, that was a great day. So I guess my bookend events are both, uh, both happening uh, in the shadows of Yankee Street. So it's uh, very fitting. I appreciate you all being here today. I appreciate the Mayor uh, Compton and Council uh, providing this tribute. Um, it's a little over the top, to be honest. And um, it's, a, it's a little embarrassing, um, but I appreciate it and I share it with an awful lot of people. Um, I'd like to thank the original council that gave me the opportunity to um, play a role in this great development. It's really a once in a lifetime opportunity for a young city manager to be able to come to a community that was taking on a project like this. Uh, extremely uh, unique project. It was very uh, enjoyable to say the least to be able to participate for so many years and to help the vision that the city council had uh, become a reality. I'd like to thank our staff, our city staff, uh, current and former, many of the folks have retired that were very involved in this project for 25 years. Uh, the Yankee Trace staff, the current Yankee Trace staff, our former staff, uh, people like Steve Marino and Terry Taylor and, and uh, John Miller and Steve Shaw, uh, we've been blessed with quality superintendents, quality golf pros, quality food and beverage directors out here, and a tremendous staff. Um, the volunteers, the volunteers were part of Shirley Heinz's dream. They've been very involved at Yankee Trace from the beginning and continue to make all this happen today. Uh, we have a very strong HOA, and we had a very strong developer and great traditions. So again, with council's vision, uh, the original council, and the council that has followed them, they've remained loyal and remained uh, very supportive of keeping Yankee Trace strong. Um, as I mentioned, today is a little over the top. Uh, I'm truly humbled by this. I'm truly appreciative. Uh, I do share this with all of you and all of the people who have worked here and participated for so many years. Yankee Trace is a phenomenal facility, and I'm absolutely convinced that it will continue to age uh, very well in the decades to come and will be a tremendous asset for this community for generations. So, Again, uh, thank you for the tribute, Mayor. Greg, I think we're going to need you to participate, uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you don't mind. I know this is a little over the top for you, but it is certainly well-deserved. I also say thank, thank goodness my kids are all in their 30s now, because 20 years ago, this would have been in their bedroom within a week. <laughs> That looks great, doesn't it? So thank you all for being here uh, to honor Greg and dedicate this sign for Greg. As they say, thousands and thousands will see and know that Greg was very much a part of this and it wouldn't have been here were it not for his dedicated efforts over the years. So Greg, thank you very much. Congratulations and thank you all for being here. SocialSecurity.gov is so friendly. It makes the crankiest Klingon smile.